So you're probably all wondering why I'm recording so much this week or posting so much this week. And the truth is, I'm just like really bored, man. And I also go back to school next week. So you guys are not going to see me for like a good while. Because now that I'm in college, I'm going to be posting like super infrequently. But yeah. So pretty much what we're going to be doing today is we need to tame a griffin. There should be a high level over here. I'm going to see if I can lure him on foot. But first things first, we have to pick a griffin. I already picked the blue one right there. I'm pretty sure he's like a over level 100. I'm not sure what level he is. Freaking dip on the way. But uh, yeah, we have a trap that we're going to work on behind me. But first, we have to figure out how we're going to lure this guy in. Because I don't really want to use a PT. Because I would have to sacrifice a PT to get him into the trap. Because I set up the trap where I can get out. But the PT can't get out. And that's really the issue right now. All right, so he aggroed on a random bird. That's not really an issue for me, but I hope he doesn't go too far away. There are three other griffins in this area, but they don't have, like, really cool colors like him. I should have kept my crossbow on me. Maybe I could have hit him. But, yeah, they just, they, they're they like, uh, what's it called? The Managers or whatever those big dinosaur creatures are that jump and fly. They don't fly. They super jump or whatever. <laughs> they, like, aggro on every single thing in the area. But yeah, so pretty much all we have to do is get a griffin down from the ravine to follow us all the way here. Alright, so I decided I have a bunch of low-level birds. It wouldn't really matter if I could sacrifice one. And I'm pretty sure I know of a trap that allows me to get the PTs out, but not the griffin. And uh, my PTs are decently fast. I think I enabled leveling of speed. So I don't think it would have much trouble like racing against a griffin. And I'm not sure how fast griffins are truly. So, okay, I saw I saw the griffins, what's it called, shadow. So I thought that's what was attacking me. But no, it's just a 130 saber, which I freaking wrecked. And if you're wondering why I have tech armor, don't worry about it. I was just, like, struggling with the wrecks yesterday, and now I have tech armor. Just don't worry about that. I'll see you guys the rest of the progress I made. I pretty much, I moved to the castle. I did build a stone house, but after I did that, I was kind of bored. So I was like, let's just add random stuff. So I like added a text generate tech generator, tech walls. Everything's tech over there. It doesn't look too good, but it's all right. That's what I was looking for. The stone double frame. So apparently this allows like PTs to pass through, which at first when I looked at it, I was thinking that's like way too small to get a PT through. But apparently it's not. There it is. I think I only need one. Alright, so this is the trap. One dinosaur gate and pretty much just the door frames all around and a ceiling. So we're going to place this in the middle. I feel like another... I like to test the trap before I actually use it. I feel like another issue with this trap is going to be like the griffin's not going to come all the way in because I'm not sure how much space the griffin's going to need. I feel like those four foundations is enough, but it's going to like do the thing where it like glitches out. It's not going to go all the way. And we should probably put this all the way to the roof, too. Just in case, because you, you really never know. Whenever I play, all the bad things that could possibly happen, happen. Alright. Let's go get our stuff from the Carno. It should only take, like, 16 darts to knock him out, I think. Then I have a really good crossbow anyway. Alright, so. I'm gonna take you guys back to base. To get a bird. So in case you guys don't know what map this is, this is for George. Uh, at first I said I didn't like the ma map, but it's actually like pretty decent. There's nothing really wrong with it. I mean, there's only so much you can do with an arc map. You add some wood, some redstones, and then the snow. There's only so much you can do. You know. Of course, there are maps like Crystal Isles and Crystal Isles and what's the Extinction, which are like they, they're the most different because Extinction is like a dead civilization. Where this map is kind of like Extinction because you see all the remnants of all the dead civilizations of the Vikings, so it's pretty good. But as a myth buff myself, I thought it was going to have a lot more to do with North Okay, we're going to have to kill this freaking saber. I was just going to ignore him and walk around because I can't, like, get my hitbox right. But I'm just going to hop off and let the car do its job. Two hits. Alright, now let's 
go home. Hey, what was I saying? Yeah. I thought we were going to do more with, like, the mythology and stuff. I'm sure someone's going to bring out a mod. Like, I don't know. For some reason, I expect this to be, like, Thor somewhere here. But, like, otherwise, it's a pretty cool map. And that's the castle up ahead. I feel like I'm about to run out of stamina. Am I? Yes, I am. It's wonderful. Yep. I never realized how fast Carnos are. Like, I used to diss Carnos so much, but they're actually, like, decent tames. I mean, this guy is almost as strong as the Rex. I mean, I'll kill any Rex because I attack faster than them. But, like... He's a, he's a really high level, though. I feel like if he wasn't, he would have some trouble. Well, yeah, pretty decent team. I mean, I've been killing Alpha Rexes, regular Rexes, and Alpha Carnos with this guy, so... You have to put a couple levels into his health though to get him to 6k. Unlike a Rex, which at least at level 130 would be around 6k health. Alright, so this is the base. Got some tech stuff on ground. That is my fire wyvern who wants care in however long. I got him a bunch of milk and put it in the dough dick, but I'm pretty sure all the milk's expired because, yeah. Mil the milk expires really quick, and there's, like, no way to actually, like, what's it called? Store the milk. That's something you guys should keep in mind if you're getting a wyvern. 247, we definitely don't want to use that bird because he's the highest level we have. I don't know how these guys got in here. Apparently, they just spawn. I'm pretty sure I have all the gates blocked off, mostly. Well, I tried my best. If I get too close, they'll attack me. Mostly blocked off, but I'm not even sure how they got in here. I think after a while, it just spawns random creatures, but uh, the baby wyvern should be fine because he has, like, really good stats anyway, so I'm pretty sure he'll kill anything that walks in here. And I have the carno just for extra protection. Alright, so this right here, I think this is going to be our suicide bird. You don't need good stats, you just need stamina. Did I put health? Damn. Maybe movement speed. PTs are faster than Griffins, are they not? I don't really know. Yeah, his weight's not looking too good. Let's transfer this extra stuff to a different bird. You're gonna have to take it right here. I feel like this particular place for PvP could be like a really cool spot. I, I can imagine you having like turret towers right there on the, I don't know what those are called. But since it's like a big spot, I feel like everybody would be trying to claim that place. And I'm pretty sure, I'm not playing Xbox, I was about to say Xbox PvP is dead anyway. People just go to private servers and chill. But yeah. So finding that Griffin's gonna be a pain in my backside. But it shouldn't be too hard. I gotta watch out for these guys' stamina. Because if anything catches me, I'm screwed. They do. I'm pretty sure you can put a pressure plate to like... Alright, so... You know, it doesn't really matter to me if he does die, if it makes it easier. I can, like, shoot the griffin while he's distracted trying to kill this guy. So, there, that actually was not hard to find. I thought he was going to be hard to find. So, I got to get him to aggro on me without the other griffins. Or I could just get two for one, but I don't feel like doing that because it always causes confusion. Right, so, we're going to hit you right here. Really nice colors. Pink and blue, it's bloody beautiful. Man, if I run out of stamina, I'm actually, like, screwed. He's a one... Was he a 130? I don't remember. I don't want to put levels in him, because, like, I'm about to kill him. Alright, we need the levels, and I see the red drop over there. But let's see first. Yeah, that stamina's dropping way too low. We don't want you. I'm trying to get him away from the other griffin. That's what I'm trying to do. Damn. 
Alright, that, that was a lucky break right there. If that was like, if I was playing in the beginning, where the Rex kept on wrecking me, I would have definitely like died right there. Like he just, okay, no, it wasn't, it wasn't a lucky break, and I have to go. He's not doing that much damage, even for my terrible level PT. Alright, so, there are four of them in the area, and I'm pretty sure three of them are over, over level 100. And Alpha Rex, perfect. I'm going to show you guys the other video I made. I'm not sure when I'm going to upload that one. But for some reason, this island is like super stacked with alpha creatures. So it's just like the area I'm in. I went on like a rampage killing every alpha creature I could. And it's like a ridiculous, it's a ridiculous amount. I'm not sure why they keep on spawning here. But it's a ridiculous amount of alpha creatures. They're all in one area and I have to like get them away from each other. Of course he's fighting bloody Stego. Yo, did you know that Stegos can knock you off your team? I did not know that. Like if they do the tail swipe attack on you, they can like just take you perfectly off your team. And the first time it happened to me, I like freaked out. The same with the roar from the Rexes. That's why I'm putting my distance in because of course I can out outrun the Rex, but if he throws me off my team, um, I don't think I can outrun him on foot, so that's gonna suck. And I don't think the Griffins are gonna win this fight right here, so if you can just leave the Rex alone, please. They hover more than they hit. He just like flies around for a while and then hits every once in a while. Alright, there we go. He's bloody? Jesus. He's not even doing that much damage, which is like kind of disorienting. Said that word incorrectly. So, this is definitely going to be a suicide PT. I think I'm just going to let the Griffin kill him and then eat him so he gets some health back because I'm not going to be able to shoot him with his health this low. It's a, it's a 130, so I'm guessing it still has at least 1k health. Alright, so we're going to go right here. Hop off. Damn. So. Is the PT attacking back? I hope not. I mean, he's not going to win anyway. It should be fine. Uh, what's the neutral? Is he still attacking? Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have shot. Oh my god. That is very unfortunate. Alright, so we're gonna try that. I, I like that Griffin though. Come on, bro. You were supposed to die. What the fuck? What's his health at? What the fuck? Alright, so. The, su the suicide PT didn't work out well because apparently his health was at 83, bro. You can. I wouldn't be surprised if the Griffin does at least 100 damage per hit. That's stupid. I think I think that shot I shot him was an advantage on my bird side. He was supposed to die, man. That's so dumb. So I don't I don't think the Griffin is doing as much damage as I expected it to do, but it's fine. The whistle passive doesn't like actually work. Like if a creature attacks them, they just fight back regardless. I don't know if it like switches on and off or right? you have to go like deeper into behavior settings, but there's just a glitch, but whatever. Yeah, let's open the gate. <laughs> that's freaking, that's so sad. Now I have to pick the red ugly ones. Man, that blue and pink was beautiful, bro. I'm sick. Alright, so hmm. So you got like forty levels from that? That's neat, that's neat, that's alright. 
I mean, we, we really don't need you, like, in any way whatsoever. Because all the other P2s are better than you, at least base stats. I'm just gonna... I'm, I'm trying not to get angry. I, I knew I was gonna mess it up somehow. But, I mean, it's just a griffin anyway. It's not like Arc Mobile, where it takes, like, four hours to tame. Alright, so, what's, that, what's this level over there? Let's see. I feel like that's one of the lower level griffins. Uh, so it's all 95? That's not really enough for us. Let's see if we can get the other ones in the distance. Are there two over there flying around? I think I like the red one more than the whitish one. Is that an RG? So I guess we just take what we get now. Because if I had to go for the other two, I'd have to aggro on both of them. Which again, really isn't a bad idea. I mean, I could get two for one, but you know. Oh yeah, so if you guys don't know what I'm doing, I'm recreating my most viral video, which is where I failed to tame a griffin. Except I'm actually taming one in 4K. Or this video probably isn't going to be 4K, but trust me, I'm playing this in 4K. Alright, so... They're always fighting something. Like, they can't just stay to one prey. I, like, flew down a little bit to avoid him aggroing on the PT. And then he aggroes on the freaking what's it called? And I'm pretty sure that creature's supposed to, like, spray something purple that makes creatures run away or slower or something. Look, he's just, he's just flying around. He doesn't attack. It's like you get away from their hitbox or something and they're confused. How are you still aggro? Like, you should be aggroed on me. Man, these freaking raptors. Alright, the raptors should actually help my situation. And now he wants to attack? What what the fuck was that? Did y'all see that? What? He's like, oh, never mind. You're still here. What? And let's get him in this cage right now so I can finally chill. All right, it's fine. Even if you die, it's all right. So I want to do this without letting him come out. I thought about shooting him first, but I feel like it's going to end badly. All right, perfect, he's stuck. So with this gun, this is a regular rifle, so no ascender or anything. It shouldn't take more than 16, I'm just guessing. He's a 95. Even though I have 100, which I was trying to tame this, uh, what's it called again, a giga earlier, but it was like a ridiculous amount of, it was a level 240 giga just spawned randomly on the island and it had purple and blue skin, man. It was beautiful, but I couldn't, like, get it knocked because I got tired. A solo giga taming, man, it's crazy. Even even though this is single player. Go ahead and drop for me. We do have a magnifying glass, but you have to apparently like, be, like, really close to the creatures to use it. And I feel like at that point... You could just tame them if you, if you can get that close to a creature. Or you guys don't understand. I'm gonna show you in a second if he's not falling. Did I miss that shot? Alright, that's the magnifying glass right there. So you literally have to be right up next to the creature to use it. Like, I would have to hop in that cage with him and, like, literally walk right up next to him. And it shows you where the torpor is, but... Yeah, I don't want to risk it. Because, you know, that's kind of... Like, if I wanted to see how much... 
I torpor I've done to a giga. I would have to like walk up right next to it, like leave. <laughs> okay. If it's in the trap, I guess it's possible, but it can still hit you. Like you understand? All right. So I don't think headshots actually help our case. They just do more damage. All right. Boom. He's down. That's perfect. All right. So I'm starving. I'm cold. Everything bad's happening. I think I have instant healing on, which just means it takes my food to my health first. So technically, like, the food bar never fills up if I'm hurt. Let's get this PT and go get our Carno and come back here. Alright. It's also going to be night, which is going to make the situation harder. Because on this map, it's, like, perfectly dark at night time. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and mark that. No, like seriously, without a torch, you're literally, you can't see your hand in front of you. It's like ridiculously dark. And for some reason, I haven't figured out how to use gamma on PC. I don't even think it lets me use gamma. But I can't like turn up the brightness at nighttime. If I can even find, I'm not gonna be able to find my base. supposed to be like close if I can run there not exactly run I can run on the car now Raptor that's not good what is that nice Raptor. what the f they can glide that far okay you know there's something I love about arc and it's like I don't even have to mess around or like joke or create this event like bad things like this just happen out of the blue like what type of calm Mortal Kombat combo was that like the micro raptor knocked me off the PC and two raptors attacked me. That's like something out of a video, out of a movie, not a video game. That's like insane. Like I'm still, I didn't even know how to react. I was about to just let them kill me, honestly. Thank God for tech armor. No, but you cannot, you cannot make this stuff up. Like what type of Mortal Kombat combo was that? He like knocked me off and they pushed me perfectly to the edge so I couldn't run away and then just went ham on me. Man, freaking art, bro. Well, we found the castle. It even matters anymore. I was hungry, now I'm dying anyway. Because it's cold. Trying to make sure he's gonna mature and not die. Oh, he's growing up. It's nice. They should be aggroing, but they're not, so I'm not gonna kill them. I'm just gonna leave them. Oh, if you have like boosted rates on your server, you can actually like raise a wyvern without ever getting milk. I don't know how high I'm maturing. I know it's fine. Uh, all right, so this right here, this is a secret passageway. And I feel like since it's night, I'm gonna struggle to find a corner one. Which is all right, because the drain isn't like high enough for me to worry. Oh, raptors! Thank God they can't pounce on me. But like, get a grip, piss off. Something else about to yeah. I heard your footsteps before you got here. Man, he's not in my head spot. I'm gonna have to hop off. No way he's getting me bloody. Alright, this is ridiculous. It's like a dog just me take tail. I swear, if you make me get off this freaking Of course everything wants to attack me now. Where are you coming from? All right, come, come attack this guy right here. Silly, silly, silly game. This game does not want me to win. It's honestly crazy. 
right, let's drop everything we don't need, which is pretty much everything on this guy. We just need some prime. I'm not making kibble. I don't want to attack a Bronzo because they're going to be two, and I feel like that's pushing my skill. Because they have the knockback attack with their freaking tail, so they're just going to send flying. I swear there were a bunch of Stegos here earlier. Maybe the Raptors killed them. I killed all the alpha creatures, which is funny because now I actually need one. No ra How many Raptors? Jesus. I feel like the game is telling me to attack a Bronto and get a spawn. But don't don't listen to, I don't listen to the game because it's always bad luck. You feel me? The game's telling me a quick way to die, that's what the game's telling me. All we need is some prime man, this is ridiculous. I'm thinking. Alright, here we go. We got a Stego. One, two, three. Let's see, I'm, I'm like actually amazing how I like guessed the number of hits it was going to take. Uh, do I really need more Prime? That Diplo's an issue. I I'm good on Prime. That's the, Yeah, I'm definitely good on Prime. Especially if it's still starving right now. Let's go back to base. And boom, that's how you freaking do it. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Just. If this was Arc Mobile, it would mean more to me because I know how hard they are to tame on mobile. But right here, they're just chilling. I think I have three times rates, so just keep that in mind. That's why it took. Well, actually, it did take a while because it was starving. We're gonna make sure you're neutral. Try to get him to follow me, but it's hard to do it with the Xbox wheel. People that play Arc on keyboard, that must suck. I tried keyboard and I just decided I didn't like it. I'm trying to do the dive thing, but I'm going to figure that out later. When y'all see me hover like this, it means I'm Googling something. Alright, we figured it out. Pretty simple. We're freaking fast, eh? Of course, you know, if you land, it does the area damage thing. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Is that an alpha creature? We don't want to mess with you. Raptors, man. Freaking raptors. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much the whole video. Uh, peace out.